What is going on everybody? My name is Nick and it is time to talk about some more news once again. And we are talking about the potential possibility that there could be two boys versions or male versions of Produce 101 styled shows. The first one which has already been kind of announced and planned by Mnet, I believe it's Mnet, is titled Boys 24, which that's supposed, I think that's supposed to start airing or that group is, or that those contestants are supposed to start um, you know, doing things, I believe, you know, doing some, like, guerrilla performances around Seoul or whatever in August, so that one is already basically underway, they're getting it together and making it happen. The other news that I've seen, which didn't specifically reference this, but I kind of think it did, was that there was going to be another show that is going to, again, replicate the Produce 101, you know, format and style, that's going to be for male trainees that will be airing or you know debuting on TV in December or January of 2017 De- December of this year January of next year and you know it's all really really interesting it's a bit interesting it's not I mean it's pretty normal and expected that something like this would happen considering how successful you know Produce 101 was as a show and obviously how you know, just successful to show the the group in general is going to be, but you know, who knows specifically how it's going to go? What is what this is even talking about? Because other than the fact that the show is supposed to air on TV or the first episode is supposed to air in either December or January, that is all of the information that I could find about this. So I don't specifically know what they're talking about. Um, you know, we do of course have some information, a little bit of information, like I said, on Boys Twenty Four, which is going to be, you know, a show similar to how Produce 101 is. You know, we got trainees from different companies. They've been taking applications from a bunch of people. And even if you're an international person, you can, you can, uh, you know, sign up to participate in this. So it's not specifically just limited to, you know, trainees from K-pop companies. I think it's just kind of like open to anybody. So it's interesting that, that maybe it's not specifically uh, 100% like Produce 101 was in the fact that like every person who participates is a trainee of a company. This doesn't really seem like it's so much that way. The final group for Boys 24 is going to be 24 members or there's going to be 24 people in like the final episodes or some, something like that. I don't specifically know exactly how that's going to work again because 24 people in a group is a lot. Um, that's like, you know, J-pop levels or amounts of people, and I, they have multiple groups when they've got a ton of people in a group. So I'm not really, you know, 100% sure how that is going to work. The big thing that I'm really interested in and makes me kind of think that Boys 24 is supposed to be the, you know, the show that airs at the end of the year is that it doesn't really make any sense for there to be two different shows that are basically the same format that air at different times of the year. So, you know, and and again, like I'm assuming too that this this group, this show that I was talking about at the end of the year is going to be on Mnet as well. So it doesn't make any sense that Mnet would have two shows, you know, right after each other that are going to be basically you know, the same exact thing. So I think Boys 24 is going to be basically the show that takes over or that starts airing at the end of the year. The the contestants of that group are supposed to be starting to do some performances and stuff or doing things and activities starting in August, I believe. And it's all going to be very, very interesting. Um, And the big thing is that, right, so the show is going to be big, probably. If you know, looking at what Produce 101 turned out to be, it's going to be a very, very popular group. There's, or you know, uh, show is gonna get a lot of fans behind the group that ultimately comes out of it, or the final contestants, or whatever you want to, whatever is gonna happen. The only thing is that hopefully uh, Mnet and whoever decides that they're going to promote this group have kind of learned from their mistakes because so far the the rollout, the debut of uh, IOI, which is the Produce 101 group, has been a little rough. Um, you know, we've got problems with YMC Entertainment's being able to basically handle all negotiations for, um, for the for the for like branch deals and stuff like that. And then you've also got other issues that are 
you know, making it difficult for the team and they're, they're apparently making it difficult for IOI to operate as a normal K-pop group. I'm probably going to talk about that in a separate video coming up in a couple of days because it just seems that there's a constant stream of stuff and updates coming about that like every single day. So I'm just going to kind of wait until I think that it's slowed down or I can put together a pretty decent video and then we'll talk about that. So like I said, constant stream of problems there it seems and you know, it, it's going to iron itself out, but hopefully uh, with this boys version, it is going to be completely different and they're going to, you know, this, the rollout is going to be super smooth. So like I said, overall, it's not really a terribly, um, surprising thing that's going to happen. That was going, that surprising thing to happen because, you know, naturally when you find something that is, you know, successful and is going to make you money or get your attention you want to replicate that. And I mean, aside from having a second season of produce 101, which is probably going to happen, or I, m I imagine would happen. Uh, the only other option is to have a male version of it with male trainees and stuff like that. So, you know, it's natural. It's a natural thing. And of course, you know, companies, after seeing how popular, how successful Produce 101 was, they're like, you know what, we want to get our some of our, you know, male trainees on the spotlight, get them some attention, get them some, you know, just you know, some 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 fans and just test them out to see how they are and all that stuff. And, you know, it's ultimately just a good way to. I mean, just basically throw these people in the, in the deep end and then evaluate them and see what they can do for you in the future. Not to mention, you know, using your trainees who are, you know, make it to the final or become fan favorites or whatever. Um, you know, it's a good way to kickstart a brand new group that you plan to debut as well. So, of course, every group and every company in K-pop will be wanting to get at least one person on this show to hopefully, you know, benefit them at some point in the future. So, I mean, I don't know. Ultimately, there's not, like I said, there's not really much, but there's a whole lot. I mean, there's a couple of things to talk about and think about that I got in my mind. So I want to know, what do you think about this? Um, do you think that there's two shows that are coming up in the future? Do you think there's only one? I mean, if you know of any male trainees at any companies, who are they? And are you excited to see them? Possibly, do you want to even see them? I don't know. Stuff in comments and questions and things, you know, let me know all of the things and responses about this down in the comment box below, or you can hit me up on social media on Twitter and Facebook. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I'm going to thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. The most popular uh, rookie group that debuts this year. Uh, yeah, definitely. I would anticipate that that would be, they would definitely be up near the top of the popularity rankings at four, um, rookie groups. So they're going to make their debut and there are some AOA fans that there that are like, well, you know what, if there's any possibility that any